Whether you're spamming your friends with baby pictures, food porn, or telling them about your latest marathon effort, your Facebook status updates are probably revealing an awful lot more than you might realise. Sometimes they might be saying the opposite to what you want them to say. So what should you be posting and why should you care? Here to help us keep our comments in check, social media marketer uh, Wendy Thompson. Wendy, good morning. Oh, good morning, Paul. Um, is, do you think people often don't realise what their posts are saying about them? No, I think people are actually pretty clear on what they're mm -hmm. saying about them, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think people like to have a certain image to the world right, and they okay. put that forward. And, and that comes forward in your status. Now, I always thought, because I don't understand this very well, but I always thought the status was just literally, you know, married, single, it's complicated. You know, divorced or whatever. Um, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So a status is like an image, a photo or just a few words about mm -hmm. what you're up to. Right. And that and you change that every now and then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Some people several times a day. Oh god. Really? <laughs> really? Um, let's just talk about the thing that Polina was just mentioning where you tell half a story where you're being vague. There's a term for it on the on the interweb, isn't there? Yes, that's called vague booking. And it's exactly what it says. So it's been really Why would you do vague. that? Because you think people are more interested in your life than they really are? I think that's when you really want a conversation to be honest. Mm. You're kind of trying to go into that curiosity gene. So people are like, oh my goodness, you never believe what just happened. And then just like, wait. And then someone's going to go, okay, but, what happened? The trouble is people do. Oh, they can't help it. Would your advice to people be just leave it alone because that person sure as <laughs> eggs or eggs are going to tell you in the end? That is definitely the right advice, but whether you can actually do it, I mean, I know I just have to ask personally. I just I can't get through People it. just do that all the time. Yeah. Oh my God, you'll never guess what just came in the mail. And then they just don't say. Yeah. Why? And then, That's and then they log off the computer for a while. Oh, And then bastards. it's annoying. <laughs> all right. Um, now, th th there's an interesting yarn out what your Facebook status says about you. Yes. Um, and what they've done is they've taken a collection of things you might often be talking about and they have assumed certain things based on that. For instance, if you're constantly talking about your loved ones, they determine that chances are you have low self-esteem. Yes, I personally wouldn't agree with that one. Um, we do know that 79% of Kiwis are on Facebook to connect with their friends and family. Mm. So if you post... Oh, who said that? That sounds technical, doesn't it? I don't, well, Why are you on Facebook? That. I just want to connect with my friends and family <laughs> and tell them that I'm in an airport lounge and hope they'll ask where I'm on my way to. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Tragic. Um, okay, here's another. Tell me yep. whether you think these are true or not. Okay. So this other one says, if you post a lot about meals that you're eating or have just, just had or something, of food that you like, yep. chances are you're a narcissist. Or you're just <laughs> really into food. I snorted. <laughs> yeah. No, I think you just really tend to be really into food if you post about meals. Okay, but the positive one, um, just quickly, yep. we're going to have you back because it's fascinating. Oh, the positive great. one is if you post a lot about what's going on around the world, it shows a degree of higher intelligence and openness. It's just a nice little tip, isn't it? I Would you agree with that? I don't know. Oh. No, I wouldn't. But I think it's a great thing to do to Facebook. if you want to make yourself look more interesting. It's a lose-lose. Um, Wendy, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Wendy You're Thompson, uh, social media marketer. This is actually interesting stuff. That's it for today.